Public Art Fund's social media strategy is a little more unique than other organizations might be because we don't have a physical building or an information desk. Our social media really operates as that information desk. The first way we approach it is just as a vehicle for people to know that we exist, so it's building awareness of Public Art Fund. And then the second way we approach it is to actually get people to visit our exhibitions and public programming. I think a big part of our strategy for you know, working across seven platforms has really been determining the best type of content for each platform. You know, we are really believers that you don't post something to one platform and push it to all of your other platforms. In the last two years, it's kind of changed a bit, especially as we relaunched our website last year, which was the first time that we had our entire archive available to the public. So we really think of our social media as the sibling to our website. Every post that we put up will somehow lead back to our website. So there are often these uh, preconceptions that if you do a lot of social media, you won't have people visiting your website. But we've found actually the complete opposite. One of the things that we find that our audience really reacts to, particularly on somewhere like Facebook, are installation photos. So pictures of the work actually being installed. One of the biggest questions we get is how do you do this? You know, how do you build something like this? Social media really gives us an opportunity in real time to show people what our work is. And I think that that's a really important part of telling the story of Public Art Fund and what we're doing. Just around a couple of weeks before we open an exhibition, we start sharing installation shots and we also start sharing the official hashtag for it. We always want to make sure that people know the hashtag, so we put it on our website, on our signage and newsletters that we're putting out so people know the appropriate thing to use, so we start to build a little excitement towards it. We recently had an exhibition open in City Hall Park. In the first week of our exhibition having been opened, we had 500,000 people sort of engage with our posts on Twitter, which is just on social media alone. That's more people than you know we think even visited the exhibition in that first week. So we consider that a really big success. People who might not ever see the exhibition, but all of a sudden have a way of interacting with it online. And also on Tumblr, we ask people to submit images of public art that they see around the world, which is something that we could never uh, farm out ourselves. One of the things we would say across all platforms really is that we try to respond to every question or every you know inquiry because we think it's really important whether it's positive or negative to interact with people. Treat social media like any other part of your organization. A lot of people like to say you know social media is free but it's not really free because it's staff time and staff time definitely isn't free so treat it like any other investment.